Hey guys, it's Crystal. Come along with me while I shop with Uber. This should be a lot of fun. Let's go. Wow. Aha, uh-huh. told y'all. Is this supposed to work? Oh my goodness. I do see a lot of chocolate that I want. Perfect. So the three things that I take in consideration while uh, accepting an order is the miles, the dollar amount, also how many items are in the cart. For example, if I have a $15 order for 0.2 miles away for 12 items, that is a excellent order and I would hop on that quick. I pre-plan before I go in the grocery store. So I make sure to look at all the items in the cart so that I can know my route once I get inside. So let's see here, let's look at the shopping list before we go in so we can get our mind together and plan a route. Save us some time. So let's see, it looks like we have cheese, veggies, meat, corn shells. Can we guess what we're making tonight? Somebody is making some tacos tonight. So let's go inside and get these items so we can help our customer get their dinner started. So let's see here. Looks like we need a yellow onion. These are huge, but this is the one she wants. These onions are so big. Oh my gosh. Makes me want an In-N-Out burger. Guess onions, meat cooked well done with cheese. Yes, yes. And that's perfect. That's like 0.80 and we need 0.90. That's perfect. So now we need an avocado. Looking at the list today, everything on the list is for tacos. So this person is definitely making tacos, which means they do not need the avocados for later. They need them for now. So it looks like all these are ripe, but this is, feels like the softest one. Like if I were shopping for myself and I was making guacamole tonight, it would be this one. Okay, so I just sent my customer the message asking is soft avocados all right? Just to make sure, because I don't want to bring them too soft and they're actually making tacos next week. So I did double check, so I'm just waiting for a reply, but this avocado is not too soft and it's not too hard. So it's actually perfect, no matter if it's gonna be done tonight or next week. So while we wait for her reply, we'll go into the next order or to the next items on my order. Okay, let's scan the lettuce. Okay, scanned and ready to go. Next, we need taco shells. Let's get some taco shells or beans, whichever comes first on the aisle. That's where we're gonna stop, either one. Let's see here, match it, is that $3.99? I'm a little short, but yes, $3.99, so this is the one. So we're gonna scan it. Sometimes the glare from like the light will act up, so just give it a little bit of time, be patient with the scanner, it'll come through for you. So we need some black beans. Scan these. Perfect. And she wants two of them, so we're gonna get two. Make sure we get the same exact one. That one is a little beat up. We want pretty items. So let's see here. There we go, perfect. No need to scan the second one. You only need to scan one, and then it'll you'll just let them know that you got two in the cart. You don't need to scan twice. Looks like all the Monterey Jack is out as well. So it does have the sharp cheddar cheese here, and it also has pepper jack. So maybe I'll do pepper jack, because it's still like Monterey Jack. They still have jack in it. So as long as they both have jack, I should be good. So let's do pepper jack. There we go. So we just have one more item, which is ground beef. So as you can match, it's very easy to match up the meat. Um, it's 80% lean ground beef, 80% lean ground beef. So there you go. So I'm gonna mark as found. I'm gonna enter the quantity, which is one, and enter the weights. Let's see here, which is 1.24. And see, the weight was one pound, but it did let me go over for uh, 24. So here we go. And it'll give you an uh, option to when, when you can't go over 24, so you'll know when you need to you, uh, choose a smaller meat or one that's less weight. We'll just start going, headed to the checkout lanes. All this shopping is getting me hungry. Tacos sound delicious, especially beef tacos because I haven't had any in a long time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. you too. Let's talk.
talk about the plus card. I love the digital plus card. Let's get into it. When you have an order for your shop and pay, each order comes with an approved amount. That approved amount is loaded to your digital plus card and is ready for you to use at the checkout. I don't have to use my own money and wait to get reimbursed, which is easy and convenient for me. And I'm ready to get on to the next one. Let's go. Okay, so on this order, let's see. We have chocolate, pickles, and peanut butter. Wow. I definitely prefer creamy over chunky. Y'all don't got time to be chewing and all that when it comes to peanut butter. I just want to lick it off the spoon, you know? There we go. Bestie came through. The Bestie is my scanner. It ensures I do my job correctly. Looks like the pickles is all the way in the boonies on aisle 16. Here we go. We hit the jackpot. Pickle chips, actually, here we go. Well, those say $3.99, this one says $3.49. Here we go, see, almost got me. Pickle chips, scan it. Okay, there we go, Bestie came through again. Pickle chips, why not whole pickles? If you're gonna eat pickles with peanut butter, that's crazy. Now we're looking for signature chocolate biscuits. I've never had those before. Sounds good though. We are on the cookie aisle. Now where are these famous chocolate biscuits? Aha, cookie aisle. Now yeah, she most definitely has to be pregnant. Cookie biscuits, pickle chips, and peanut butter. Oh my goodness. Either that or a hangover. Either one, I'm not judging. I mean, either one. I mean, they're good separate, but I don't know about all together. Now you're gonna pay with your digital plus card. And you're gonna use it as if you were in the mall, Gucci store, buying a bag or something like that, some shoes, the same exact way. So you're gonna hold the phone to the screen. The plus card is gonna appear. Enter my passcode on my phone. Done, pay for. Easy as one, two, three. And we have the receipts. Please remember to take your receipt. We're gonna take a picture of the receipt. Welcome. And you're gonna let the app know that you did use the digital card to pay. Take the photo. For items without barcodes, touch the quick lookup button. So it's time to go. That order was super easy and it was less than a mile away and it was good money. And of course it was only three items, three interesting items at that, which made my day interesting. We are back at Pavilions for order number three, the race. Okay, so we're looking for eggs. Let's see here. Here we go, eggs, number seven. Eggs, $2.99, which is awesome. Just last month, it was, what, a car note to get some eggs? Crazy. Okay, so here's the eggs. Uh, we need the Lucerne grade, Lucerne, excuse me, grade A large 12 eggs. Always, always open it and check your eggs because you don't wanna bring the customer any cracked eggs. So always make sure you look at the detail of the eggs, make sure they look good. Always put the eggs on the top. On to the frozen items. Let's see. We get the frozen items last so they can stay frozen especially on a hot day like today. Feels like I'm in Vegas somewhere, so hot. Okay, next up we have the Signature Select Pepperoni Thin Crust, Ultra Thin. Where is the bread, Ultra Thin? I need me some thick crust, okay? Crust, lots of crust, lots of bread, lots of cheese, lots of meat. Okay, this is the one we need, but it's damaged. I don't like, uh, I know it's just a little bit, but I prefer to bring the most beautifulest is beautifulest the word? Beautifulest box of pizza, period. So here we go. I'm gonna do this one instead. It's pretty, it's signature select pepperoni pizza, it's thin. I wouldn't go with the thin, but hey. Next on the list is chocolate ice cream. Let's see here. I don't see the chocolate ice cream. So it looks like this item is unavailable. 
So right now I'm just communicating with the customer. I am letting her know that they are unfortunately out of ice cream. Just hit them with the good morning, how are you? Unfortunately, they are out of chocolate ice cream, but they do have these options. My favorite is butter pecan. I know that's totally different than chocolate, but still, I do give recommendations as well. So substitution was approved. Now, when a customer approves a substitution, um, you'll get a message, for example, Crystal approved the substitution, and then you could just go on about your day and finish your shopping. So let me get that ice cream. And she was actually happy to get the Moose Tracks. That was her second best flavor. So we did good. Always, always reach out. I hope you guys enjoy shopping with me as much as I enjoy shopping with you. Today has been great. I love shopping with Uber. You guys should definitely try it because it's super easy in this easy money. I have three boys, so I'm low key a shopping expert. So why not get paid for something that I love to do and that I do often, you know? I promise, I promise you guys will love it. You can make some good money while also helping others and giving back to your community or giving back to your neighborhood. Thanks for going shopping with me today, guys. I had so much fun. I'll see you guys in the store. <laughs>